और बोथ साइज एंड शेप गेटिंग डिफॉर्म्ड हाई मैग्नीट्यूड स्ट्रेस whether they can withstand the stress acting on a body is called stress that is what is said to be an elastic body the amount of stress applied on a body hello students this is sd sir from the temple of excellence vidyashram pre university mysore a new session a new chapter what we are discussing as mechanical properties of solids a new understanding about solids its elastic behavior how they tend to deform when subjected to different stress what is the strain caused in them what are the different types of stretchings so the main aim of understanding this chapter is to know how the elastic or be more precise the mechanical behavior of solids can be used for constructive purposes so we understand what is an elastic body what is a plastic body we understand the concepts of stress and strain elastic limits the different types of stretching all serving the purpose helping us to understand how the property of a solid can be used for constructive purposes now to begin with various materials are used to construct buildings tests are carried out to understand whether they withstand the stress to which they are subjected industrial laboratories use special apparatus for performing the tests so to construct buildings people right from history to update has used many materials and these materials are tested by subjecting them to high deforming forces high magnitude stress whether they can withstand the stress and finally laboratories have designed new apparatus new instruments which will design the test to know the stress now to begin with let us try to understand what is elasticity what is an elastic material we say elasticity is a property of a material property of a system because of which 
it recovers its original state or i can say initial state or condition on removal of the external forces so dear students we understand that elasticity is a property of a material where the material regains its original shape and size it continues to be in its initial state when the external deforming forces are removed see the name itself says deforming forces which deform a material change the original shape of a material but when those deforming forces are removed if the body can retain can get back its original shape and size that is what is said to be an elastic body now when the external forces the so called deforming forces are applied on a rigid body deformation is produced when some external force the so called deforming force acts on a rigid body some type of deformation happens what is the meaning of this deformation deformation means change in the size change in the shape or both size and shape getting deformed so when some external forces act on a body the deforming forces act on the body the shape of the body may be deformed size of the body may be deformed or both shape and size may be deformed now bodies which do not experience any deformation on the application of external forces are called rigid bodies this is what we studied in our system of particles they are rigid they don't want any type of deformation they don't want to change their original shape original size whatever external forces you apply deformation does not happen and in practice it is very difficult to get such rigid bodies however rigid a system may be however rigid a body may be when a deforming force is applied small amount of deformation happens so understand students practically to define a rigid body is very very impossible when you apply some external force small amount of deformation has to happen now bodies which tend to resist the deformation caused or 
which recover completely they are recovering completely any deformation caused once that external deforming force is removed is what we call elastic bodies see an elastic body tends to resist any type of deformation it does not want to accept change in its size change in its shape resistance to deformation or such bodies will completely recover their original shape and size once you remove the deforming force and such bodies are called elastic bodies yes a very important one mark question definition of an elastic body so what is an elastic body students bodies which recover gain back their original shape and size completely after the external force is removed such bodies are called elastic bodies and if the bodies do not regain their original shape and size they are called plastic bodies so two types of bodies we come across in nature elastic bodies they completely regain their original shape and size they recover their original shape and size after the deforming force is removed but a plastic body does not recover its original shape does not recover its original size once the deforming force is removed now now let us try to understand the meaning of stress and strain what actually is elastic stress and strain it is very simple stress is defined as force per unit area of an elastic body stress he is under great stress some force is being experienced so stress is defined as force per unit area of an elastic body so stress is nothing but force per area and the si unit of stress newton meter minus 2 force by area now what is the outcome of this stress consequence of that stress acting on a body there is a fractional change in the dimension of the body when you apply some stress on the elastic body what happens there is a small change a small change in a fractional change in kritya way in what the dimensions of the body 
that is the size or shape of the body and that change is called strain. See, very beautifully how the concepts are related. That external force per unit area acting on a body is called stress. What is the outcome of that stress? Result of the stress acting on a body. There is a small change in the dimensions of the body. A fractional change either in the shape of the body or in the size of the body. And that change in dimensions itself is called strain. So you need to know here, stress is some external force acting on an elastic body force per unit area and the consequence of the stress that is change in the dimensions maybe shape or size is what we call as strain. <clears throat> now Hooke's law of elasticity a very very important law for two marks, it is often asked something called Hooke's law of elasticity. A fundamental law of elasticity which relates stress and strain. In very simple words, Hooke's law says within elastic limits which means if the external force applied is very small within the limits of elasticity stress is directly proportional to strain the amount of stress applied on an elastic body is directly proportional to the deformation happening in it. What we call as strain. So beyond limits, the property breaks down. But within elastic limits, stress is directly proportional to strain or E equals stress by strain, where E is called coefficient of elasticity. So very clearly, Hooke's law says, within elastic limits, the amount of stress applied on a body is directly proportional to the strain caused in it. More is the stress, more is the strain. Less is the stress, less is the strain. So dear students, in today's class, we had an introduction to what are elastic bodies, what are plastic bodies, simple behavior of an elastic system, meaning of stress, meaning of strain and how they are related described through Hooke's law. In my next class, I'll come up with the different types of stretching and the elastic curve. Until then, have a nice time. Thank you.